Yo, 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 and welcome to Abex. Today, we're going to taste the sensations from Hungary. Snack verse, snack box, monthly edition. Let's go. Okay, let's get straight into this one. We're going straight in. If you know me, I love my savory snacks. And these straight in a tickle the fancy so let's have a go now these remind me of straight away remind me of um bacon rashers they're called in the uk there you go look at them so let's have a taste of the bacon rashers Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Really, really strong flavour. Lovely, lovely strong flavour in them ones. The bacon, they look like bacon rashers. Taste exactly the same. If you ever went to the um, pub with your old man when you was there in the, I'm 40, so back in the day, you always get them in, in, the, uh, in the pub, behind the bar. Remind me of them straight away. Like a nice cheap flavor bacon rasher. <clears throat> Let's see what the write up is. In these bacon rashers, I reckon they taste exactly the same. They are absolutely gorgeous. All right, what does it say? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ham flavored, ham flavored chips are tasty, savory snack option that brings a delicious flavor of ham to your fingertips. These chips are carefully crafted to capture the smoky, salty, and meaty essence of a ham, creating a satisfying, indulgent snacking experience. Oh yeah, they're very strong. Lovely, lovely flavor. Very strong. And they are definitely going in my belly. Straight away, hungry, you're winning with the savory bacon snacks. Right, <clears throat> I think we're gonna stay on the savory. I'm gonna try the Master Crocs. I have not, well, it looks like a pizza flavor in the shape of crocodiles. Let's have a look. Oh, definitely getting that pizza herby taste, no doubt about that one. That's what they look like inside. Let's give them a taste. It's the shape of them. The crocodiles. Oh, good. Again, good. Savory, always a winner. And Mars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Master Croc. Do you know what they remind me of? They remind me of Transformer snacks in the UK. If you know Transformers, the packet of crisps, as we call them, not chips, crisps. They remind me of them straight away. Not so strong on flavor, getting that herby tomato taste, but would I eat them? 100% I would. Get in my belly. Right, next up. We're gonna go eat, oh, wrong one. These look like they are strawberry i thought they were, they were savory but no way are they savory so we're gonna go with we're gonna do all the savory we're gonna go with these nuts if you watch my last last one on a snack box i'll put it on uh, above in the card i had some similar nuts in my last one these are the coated nuts as you can see when you go down there you can see what they're like so they're coated nuts, which I absolutely love. Salsa and lime. It does say on the front. So let's give these a go. I've got the read up about the crocs, don't I? Mm. Mm. I 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Let's have a read about the Crocs first. Was a crispy flavored snack which combines the irresistible taste of pizza with a satisfying crunch of a Cheo chips. Indulge in zesty tomato cheese, herb and seasoning, delivering a pizza inspired delight in every bite. Yeah, definitely getting that. I just wish they were a bit stronger, but definitely the Transformer vibes in the UK. Right, them nuts. Very, very nice. Very nice. Get in my belly straight away. Absolutely lovely. We'd eat them all day long. Got a little bit of spice to them as well. That little salsa of spice with lime. You definitely taste the lime in it. So what are they actually called? Grassy Original. Indulge in these bold and irresistible flavor coats of tangy salsa and zesty lime with these crunchy coated peanuts. With each bite, experience a satisfying crunch follow a burst of vibrant and tantalizing taste. Yep, I'll give it that. No doubts, I'll give it that. Right, let's go down low. And I think that is it for the savory. I think we're gonna go for, we're gonna go for these, the Smile Plancides, whatever that says. So we're gonna give these a go. Let's have a little, have a little taste. Oh my God, these are different than I thought they would be. It is one giant. <laughs> it's actually a pancake. Smile. A pancake. Is this is the texture it's got? Is is literally a pancake. And it's just got something in the middle. I'm gonna have to get into the middle. Can you see that? Let's go down low and show you. Go to that nice jam, jam flavor in the middle with the pancake outer. Is a little dry, not gonna lie. The nut in that, that rhymed is a little bit dry, but nice taste. Jam is very, very sweet and nice, nice strawberry jam. Would I eat it? Yeah, I would definitely eat that. Strawberry smiling pancake. Get in my belly. Definitely getting in the belly. All right, what should we try next? Right, these are going to be like, oh, what are they called in the UK? Puff. I'll put a picture up. But I wear these in the last one. The Germany box. Very, very similar. Now I reckon it's going to be the same as them. I think they're going to be exactly the same. They're similar. I ain't getting much taste from that at all nah nah panda pandy puffs nah not for me panda puffs get in the bin not good for me what do they say about these panda puffs these light and crispy rice puffs are refused with bursts of fruity flavors creating a delightful and refreshing snack experience each bite offers a satisfying crunch, followed by a medley of fruity notes that tantalize your taste buds. Not for me. No, they don't. I'm getting that rice puffy taste, but not much fruit at all. Right. Let's try whatever these are. Sport. What are they? Get into them for Wow. Did not expect that. I actually thought it was going to be sweets like a chocolate bar with like fudge in the middle let's give this a go it's got the same texture as a milky bar nah too chocolatey for me. Very too chocolatey. I really thought that was going to be sweets. What's the right up say? 
indulge yourself in an iconic hungarian snack sports whatever <laughs> can't say that word this delicious treat features a layer of soft nugget topped with a generous coating of rich dark chocolate which is perfect balance of sweetness and indulgence sport provides a satisfying pick me up for any active endeavor yeah definitely getting that dark dark chocolate i don't like dark chocolate you get a nougat f nugget nougat that you get from the <laughs> milky way bar in the uk sport Get in the bin. Not for me. Sorry to say. Not for me. All right, we've done that one. I think we're going to go for the... We're going to go for the Balaton. The Balaton bar. This has got to be cho chocolate. Made by Nestle. Don't we know in the UK? No too well. Oh, this might be like a wafer bar in the UK, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon it's going to be. I like these. This could be a good one. Let's go. Smashed it. <laughs> Smashed it straight away. That's exactly what it is. You get them in the supermarkets. I think two nuts or something make it. I'll put a picture up right now to show you. That's exactly what that is. A wafer bar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Balaton. I would eat you all day long. Balaton, I would eat you all day long. Get in my belly. I'll rhymed again. I don't even know it. The Balaton is a beloved Hungarian treat that will transport you to a world pure chocolate. Pure chocolate pleasure. Experience the, the perfect pleasure of smooth, creamy chocolate and a delicate crunch of a wafer, creating a delectable texture that melts in your mouth just like the wafer bar that is getting in my belly love it nice work all right i think we're going to go for the drink the marker juicy soda what's that an apple maybe an apple let's have a go nice little fizz hear the fizz Mm. the marker juicy soda that reminds me of an appetizer and i like appetizer so marker juicy soda it's like a red apple flavor i think appetizer is probably green but it's got that similar vibe that similar soda nice fizz nice bit of fizz to it but marker you're getting in my belly. Very, very nice. I would drink that, no doubt. Marker is a, it's a cherry. <laughs> Brilliant. It's cherry. <laughs> Never go. I bet everyone's going into the into the video. It's cherry. Look at the look at the picture. Quench your first with this fresh and taste of marker. This delightful beverage captures the essence of juicy cherries, offering a treat, offering a burst of fruity goodness with every sip. Savor the sweet and tangy flavors that dance your palate, rather than a refreshing and aggravating experience. I love cherries, so that is why I liked it. So that is getting in my belly. I will drink the whole can easily. Let's go. That's good. That was very good. Next up, we're going to go for this. It's like a cone. It's like a reminds me of a ice cream cone. Yeah, it's definitely got that ice cream kind of vibe. Looks like it's it's melted quite a lot. Oh wow, let's do it. It's like a it's like a marshmallow kind of vibe to it. A creamy it's like an ice cream would i eat it i'm eating it i like the i love the inner very very nice in it inside i probably would eat that you know I need to get the whole thing anyway 
So what what is that called? But that is getting in my belly anyway. That is nice. I would eat that. That's nice, soft texture in the middle. Nice and light as well. I love a cone. Everyone loves an ice cream cone, surely. What do they say? It's delicate dessert. Features a crunchy cone. Not that crunchy. Luscious velvet chocolate cream that will melt in your mouth. Since the 70s, it's been crafted as a winter substitute for summertime ice creams, which is considered to be excessively chilly for winter treats. Yeah, I'll get that vibe. It's quite nice. Nice and light in the middle. That is getting in my belly. Ice cream cone, winter edition. Get in my belly. Right, we got two left. I'm going to try these. The Dunna Kvitz. Orange draggy dragon fruit maybe definitely i've got all that cream out of my mouth definitely sweets by the looks of it like little, little rocks let's give them a go what i'll put these in the wrong section Yeah! Did not expect that at all. They're like fruity nuts. Definitely nuts. If that ain't nuts, then it's red apple. If it's not that, it's cherry. Let's have a read. They're nice. They're very nice. What are they? Dive into the irresistible crunch of a... Whatever. Duna Kavitz. A popular old school Hungarian treat. This delightful snack features a com combination of roasted peanuts and crispy corn puffs coated in a layer of smooth milk chocolate. Each bite offers a delightful contrast of textures with from a crunchy centre to a velvet chocolate. Ex I ain't getting chocolate. Definitely getting that roast puff. No, not getting chocolate. I get that rice puff and the, and the peanuts. But whatever you're called, do no cavits. Get in my belly. That is good. That should have went in the savory section. Very, very good. Right. We're down to the last one. And it is the conviction of dude. This is like it's a chocolate bounty roll. I'm going to find out. Let's do it. Apple, speak with your mouthful. Apple problems getting into him. Oh, this looks strange. <laughs> <laughs> looks very strange. Let's do it. What the hell is that? Does that taste like alcohol? Like alcohol? Oh, what the hell is that? The aftertaste ain't bad. It's the when you first taste it. Oh, not eat that. Oh, what is that? It's got like a alcohol kind of taste. Oh, what is that? Taking a nostalgic trip down memory lane with a. Retro Kovitz and Yumiya. This delightful treat features a delicious combination of coconut chocolate wrapped in a retro inspired package. Each bite contains a creamy coconut filling coated in a smooth chocolate, delivering a burst of tropical flavour and sweetness. What? So I've got like alcohol. Maybe it's the, the coconut. Oh, I can't eat no more of that. That is vile. That ain't a bounty. That is not a bounty. It's got a smooth texture. <coughs> <What's>, <coughs> it actually says sour cherry on the actual um on the can. <laughs> nah, it's horrible. The chocolate's horrible. The coconut's horrible. That is the worst one by miles. You, whatever you're called. Get in the bin. The worst one. And I left it to last. Damn. 
right that is it from apex i am going to give you my favorite which will probably be my two favorites it's going to be the nuts and it's going to be the bacon rashers definitely my two favorites and the worst two i'm going to give it to this rubbish and the pandy puff rice seems like every country wants to do them right that is it that has been snack verse snack box monthly edition hungary i've been louis vaughan and we have been apex and until next time laters game over oh man oh. All right. All right.